Hello everyone, thanks for joining me back on Stubble Meat Steel. So I was talking to Lee Nunez who loaned me all these cool razors and one of them was the Ellsworth Copper Can and when they first introduced it, it came in what they consider the standard plate, which is a 0.70 gap. And that's pretty much the same gap that the Ellsworth Apex aluminum that they already had was uh, at. And so some people might wonder, you know, does it shave exactly the same? And you can see the head shape on them is very, very similar. If you lay them right on top of each other, there's a tiny bit of a difference. It's kind of hard to see from that angle, but they are very, very similar in, in design and, and head shape and everything. And um, Lee himself felt that the Apex was a little bit more efficient than the uh, the copper can. And I only kind of used the copper can with the standard plate, like a, for, I want to say, about, you know, a half a shave in a comparison, just messing around. So I thought it'd be a fun comparison since they're both a 0 0.70 gap. And if somebody uh, was looking to purchase the standard uh, plate uh, used or something like that from a buddy or somebody selling the razor that had the standard plate and they were curious how it compared to an apex if they already had it or vice versa so this can this shaves kind of uh, for that just having a little bit of fun today i felt like i was maybe getting a little sick like a cold or something so i've got uh, sterling's pharaoh's dreamsicle which is basically like a uh, orange creamsicle um, but what I did is I put a bunch of menthol crystals in there and I've got uh, Sterling makes uh, this citron which is mostly uh, orange forward but it does have a uh, grapefruit and some other citrus notes in there so I thought this would be a fun shave let's check it out <coughs> excuse me Hopefully I didn't go too crazy with the menthol crystals. <laughs> it's kind of hard to gauge how much you're using of it because it's basically crystals and you put them in a, I put them in a grinder. Happy with the lather like that. There's a little bit of extra water in the brush today. I almost felt like there was maybe too much. I wasn't sure if it was gonna to be too watered down, so didn't need to add any. All right, let's do the copper can with the standard plate on this side of my face. For blades, I've got Gillette seven o'clock uh, greens, the sharp edge. I'm sorry, the yellow is the sharp edge. Greens are called super stainless. Feels very, very nice with the blade combo. Let's get it nice and warm since it is uh, brass, the copper can't. One of the advantages of the brass is it retains heat. Very, very, very smooth. It was very nice. Let's do the apex. Much more audible feedback with the apex. And it has kind of a higher resonance to it, the way the aluminum vibrates differently over the brass.
The anodized aluminum kind of glides differently across the face. I don't want to say uh, it's rough. I would say maybe it has a, a slower drag to it. It doesn't uh, slide, across, slide across the face as effortly, effortlessly as the uh, brass does, but not a huge difference, just tiny, tiny difference. It has almost more of like a squeegee effect on the aluminum feel to me. Menthol always kicks a little more on the second pass when there's no hair there. <laughs> Feels good. Copper cant was very smooth there. This is the against the grain pass on my neck. Both razors feel very nice there. It's very hard to tell them apart. It's kind of just the differences between the uh, two metals, how they kind of feel differently on the face, a little bit of difference of audible feedback. But as far as blade feel and the way that they feel in general, very, very similar. Have a tiny bit of water to that. There we go. Maximum slickness has been achieved. All right, let's go.
There was a tiny bit there where the uh, copper cant felt like there was a little bit more blade feel when I was coming across the mustache area here, that across the grain pass, the apex felt uh, smoother in those areas for me. All right, let's go ahead and spray down here. Pretty much the same amount of pickup on both sides. I wouldn't say one is more efficient than the other. For me personally, anyways. All right, everybody, I'm back. So what do I have to say about these two razors? You know, I'd have to say they're really, really similar if I was blindfolded, to be honest with you. I don't know if I would have been able to tell the difference between the, the shave, you know, it's it's that minor. Um, as I mentioned on the across the grain pass with the copper can on right around this area, it felt like there was a little bit more blade, but you know, that could be me adjusting to the tiny bit of differences between the shave geometry and angles on both of these razors as well. You know, I noticed that with this one, the copper can't, when you ride the cap a little bit more, does smooth out. So, you know, it could have just been that I wasn't riding the cap in that particular moment. But overall, I, I do feel that the Apex is a little more forgiving and a tiny bit easier to use. It has a little bit of a slower feel to it or a drag as some might consider it, that squeegee effect as I like to call it because what I feel is the anodized aluminum, maybe also the head geometry as well, since it kind of has an angle built into it, you know, it could be all of those things coming together, but uh, very, very similar. As far as efficiency, I really couldn't tell them apart in that particular regard. I have more of a, 
medium to um, you know medium light uh, coarse in his beard I would say you know I do have a little bit of a five o'clock shadow towards the end of the day so maybe it is more medium but regardless very very similar razors I would like to see Ellsworth come back out with that standard plate personally because for the the plus plate for me personally that 0.99 gap and a little bit more exposure is a little bit too much for me but the standard plate very very smooth and enjoyable and perfect for, for what I would personally look for in a daily razor uh, as far as it's very close to this Apex, that Rockwell 3-4 plate, that Goldilocks Sweet Spot, uh, you know, Carb Overlander, all those kind of um, Goodfella Stiletto, all those razors kind of fall in that Goldilocks bunch. And the standard plate on the Copper Cant definitely hits that mark for me. So that's my take on it. Two great razors. Check them out if you can find one of these used or if you already have one of these and you were looking at the Apex. I think you'd be very happy with it and they, very sh they shave very similarly with great efficiency on both and a, a very, very similar but tiny bit different feel to both of them. All right, I hope you enjoyed the shave. Stay tuned, I got some more videos incoming. Check out my comments section down below for either uh, used razors that I'm selling as well as some discount codes. Talk to everybody soon, take care.